What are you looking at? Big boss. Fucking Navarro, mate. Yeah, I know. It's a Navarro with a Mercedes interior. Yeah, look at that. Oosh. Let's go get nice. some wheel bearings. That is nice. Welcome back modifiers to another episode. Today we're gonna to be looking at how to do trailer bearings. Now, generally it's pretty simple, so most of you probably already know how to do it, but we are gonna go through it anyway because they can be a pain, especially if they've uh, gotten a little bit of salt in there and been there for a little while. So let's look into it. Oh, the plastic one, you just, uh, just, just pull, your, pull that off. Yeah, just pull that off. Oh, fuck. Man, where's, where's the hammer at? Why hammer? <laughs> You're gonna take to it with a hammer. We haven't even started yet. Rubber. There you go. Better motivation. There you go. Boom. Uh, that looks pretty manky as well. Yeah. The side actually probably is worse. worse. <laughs> yep. <laughs> just look at that. Just fell to pieces. I don't think I've ever seen that before. That's just not cool. You have to take it off. That's unfortunate. Which is, it's, we'd have to just go back on that. Ah, uh, was the hammer. Where's the persuasion tool? That's solid. Got him. What the fuck was that? I don't know. What the hell? Is that your ski? Oh, it might be. Keys in my pocket. Keys in my pocket. Fuck, I thought it was a fire alarm or something. Tripping out. All right, so once you've got, if you've got bearing buddies, once you've got those off and out the way, um, you want to take off the castle nut here and to do that you've got to take the split pin out So we're going to clean that up now and whip the split pin out, take the nut off and then we should start being able to pull the hub off uh, Don't worry about it. That's not even the jet ski this time. Hang on. You good? To get this uh, rear bearing off, we're going to go around the back with a long bit of metal, which is somewhere. Oh, it's be over with the vice. And bang from the back side of the bearing. Out of it. If in doubt, just whack it. Done. Well, that one came off heaps easier. Yeah, that's because this one is much tidier. Yeah. There you go. Just, just tap it. Just fucking give her a bit of a tap. We should be right. Cordless shit. On the ground. <laughs> I've got one for now. It's a, now now it's a new drill. fucking new drill. This is badass. Yeah, yeah, it's it's just, you don't want to fucking wear the metal away. Yeah. yeah. With the nub. Power! <laughs> just, oh, power! Just lick the nub. Uh, yeah, fuck it. I just, I'm just gonna just, just dash it, you know? Just lick it. Yeah. <laughs> Why am I sitting here? I'm not fucking doing that. Oh, that's handy. I want to pop these bearings out from inside the hub. So there's one here and there's one on the other side. Something like this is quite a handy tool because it gets in inside and you just put it on the race of the bearing and just gently tap down each side and it should pop out. Yes. There's one out. Two. Two, done. 
Right, so you just clean that up. And if you've got your new bearings right now, you can go ahead and put them in in the same order. Just when you hit the bearings, you don't want to hit the middle, the inside of the bearing. You want to try and hit the outer race at all times. Which, is, back which is what we just tapped out, I believe. Which is that bit, yep. So we've got the bearings off. We need to go to Super Cheap and go and get some new bearings. Hopefully they got two in stock. We're going to shoot down there now and go and uh, yeah, hopefully pick them up. Taking the Mighty Five, the surprise actually started. <laughs> Unfortunately, none of those bearings are right. So we're gonna to go to Repco and hopefully there's one there. Uh, you'll find out because your bearing will get stuck on the glove. <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to hand pack these uh, bearings. I don't have a bearing packer, grease packer here, so um, just explaining how to do it. And you, you take your bearing here, you fill the hand up with the grease. You're going to watch Lindsay do it in a second. Uh, fill the group, put a lump of grease on your hand, you take the bearing and you stroke like that, pushing down and then packing the grease in and you'll see it come out the top here. So you get that? So you just do that. So you get some grease? Yeah. Like that. Like that. Like oh, and just spin it around. And then just go work around. You'll see the grease popping out. Yeah, out of see there. What you're doing now. We're going to go ahead and put the bearings in. I've already put one side in. When you're doing this without a uh, bearing installer tool, you'll need either an old bearing or some hard steel with a nice edge on it to get it in. Um, make sure that your uh, housings are nice and clean and we're not introducing any junk. Get the shell from your tapered bearing and we want it to go in that way so the bearing sits inside there. So I'm just going to place it in first, get it settled. I have an old bearing here which I'm going to use to guide this thing in. So again, I'm going to make sure it's pretty clean. I don't really want to introduce any junk so it's nice and clean. Dynamite. It's in. Without a nick on it, nice and tidy. Ready to accept some bearings. So what we want to do is you want to throw some grease in there. Could have probably greased it first, but I'd prefer not to. I'd like to keep it clean, otherwise grease splashes everywhere. So we've got our bearings that are packed. That ready to accept some bearings and go on the shaft. Uh, when we put our hub back on, we want to put everything back on the same way it came off, but with nice new stuff. So we've got our nice clean shaft here. Put your bearing in the back. Pop your seal in. And then we'll put this on the hub. What the hell is that? What the hell is it? It's a vector Put it on. Stop your head from getting burnt when you're welding. What? Is that what it is? No, oh, no, it's just, it's just to stop the aliens reading your thoughts. Oh, right. Look at okay. that, like a boss. I can't even see it. Can you see it, Lindsay? It's half the fence disappeared. <laughs> Shut up. You look like a fucking ninja. It looks like he's about to go rob cars with Pepper Toto. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to just tap this ceiling. If you don't have an um, installer tool, then just use something that's flat and even. So we have the hub here all ready to go. Seal's on the back with a bearing in. We're just gonna fill this up with some grease and pop it on there. And we'll put the other bearing in the front and wind it all up. There we go, all greased, looking good. Here is the pre-packed bearing. Ready to go on the front. Like so. You should be able to use the same. 
do the rest with a nut and a washer. Um, so what you want to do is you want to get your, 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 the last of your stuff on, the nut on, the castor nut, and you want to do it up um, till it nip it up and then turn it and you want to basically tighten it until it stops and then back off a little bit. Uh, we'll do that now. Don't throw the outer races away. No, we use them. Use them on the press. Oh, okay. I think I've thrown some of right. them away already. So I've it up and that's, that's caught it. It's gone fairly tight. Just a little bit more. Yeah, that's got it. So we go back. You've got to find the, find the hole for the split pin. Yeah. So if you put the it didn't come out square either. No, it definitely didn't come out square. Yep. 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 Alright, spring. Wrong. Anyway. No. The tap, the piston goes in first. No, nah, spring goes in. Uh, spring goes in, then, then the piston. And then the oh, no, sorry. The, yeah, yeah, the cap, then, then spring. Then the spring goes in. Then the spring, and then the clip yep. that holds it. Oh. Otherwise, you haven't got anything to yep. hold the pressure of the grease. Yeah, yep, yep. No, that makes and before good. you put that clip in, cover it in grease. Now, it will rot. The first time you put it in the water, it will rot away otherwise. We did that. I literally put the things in there, barely touched it, and it would just disintegrate. Disintegrated, yeah. Because nobody covered it in. in. Never sees. Right, um, Lovely. Right, we're going to pump it up with some grease. Pretty good off iron, this shit. Oh. It's awesome. Does that just mean you'll use mine as well as you? When mine breaks, yeah. yeah. That's what I thought. So you'll be like, when oh, when when you're using his own Right, now we just chuck the wheel back on. I'm going to take this for a test drive and make sure everything's all gravy. Alright guys, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. We've done the trailer bearings on this thing. You can pretty much do it all at home. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment and we'll see you in the next video which is going to be a video on the Beamer. It's top secret at this point. See you then.